So I'm Michael Roy, I'm the Technical Marketing Manager for vCloud Hybrid Service. We're going to show you a quick demo of what the service looks like and we'll talk a little bit about what we can do with it. So right off the bat we get ourselves a login here. So we come on in to the vCloud Hybrid Service here. You go to vchs.vmware.com once we've got uh, our service enacted. So right now we're actually looking at a virtual data center. So we can take a look at the allocation and usage of that data center. We can take a look at the virtual machines that are inside of this data center. So right now we've got one here. If we want, we can even launch the console and interact with the virtual machine here. So we can actually both consume the virtual machines as well as deploy them and provision them. We have the ability also to manage our gateways. So for example, we could take a look at this here and we can add NAT rules. We can uh, source NAT, destination NAT. We can manage our firewall rules. Uh, we have a good view onto the network right now. We also have a view of our public IP addresses, all from the same interface. So what's really cool as well is this is just for one virtual data center. With the vCloud Hybrid service, with our dedicated cloud offering, we actually have the ability to create multiple virtual data centers here. So what we've done is we have actually purchased 40 gigahertz of compute capacity, and what we can do with that is break that out into virtual data centers. So we have five gigahertz here, five gigahertz here, a small one with two gigahertz here, uh, and we can really set the allocation on that as we wish. So moving forward into that, for example, once we're back into the virtual data center, again, we're looking back at the same thing, but if I don't want to look at it from just the virtual data center level, I want to look at it from a higher system administration level, we can go up a notch, and we can take a look at all of the virtual machines that have been deployed in the entire cloud. So as the system administrator, same thing, we can interact with those virtual machines here. We can launch the console real quick, and I don't have VMRC installed. We can launch the console real quick, um, and all from the same interface. And same thing with networks. So we can manage all of our edge gateways here. Now these are all highly available edge gateways as well. So on the back end, these are actually very redundant and very robust gateways that can have multiple services in play. So for example, in addition to just you know, NAT and firewall, we can actually go into the advanced settings, which takes us into Cloud Director. So we can actually go into the advanced settings, which takes us into Cloud Director. And inside a Cloud Director, what we have the ability to do is just get into under the hood and access some of the more nascent features. So if we take a look at this gateway, we can actually manage our DHCP service here. We can also do firewall and NAT from this interface, static routes. But the real important part, I think, is these two right here, which is our VPN. So you can have up to 25 VPN interfaces set up here. In addition, we can also have uh, a load balancer. So there's the ability to have a pool of virtual servers, which will enable you to dynamically load balance your web applications across these servers. Now what this allows you to really do is uh, take advantage of all this, but the nice thing is, is it actually doesn't count against any of your capacity. So when we deploy new gateways here, we actually don't consume any of the capacity from what we've purchased. That, including the management infrastructure, it's actually taken away. So the resources that you're purchasing, you don't have to worry about the overhead. Really all you're having to deal with is the workloads that can run inside of that environment. And you get a lot more control to be able to manage the networking without having to worry about the infrastructure on the back end. So that's the vCloud hybrid service. I mean, in addition to that, we've got our, the, this is of course the web portal, but in addition we've got our uh, vSphere client. So this is the web vSphere web client, and we have a new plugin that we're going to be releasing that we announced at our keynote yesterday, which allows us to consume all of the vCloud hybrid service workloads directly within the same interface that we use on a day-to-day -day basis with vSphere. So you can log into vSphere, you can take a look at this particular, um, when we go over to this particular virtual data center, we can see the resources that are consumed, we can manage the virtual machines, we can see the templates, and even the gateways and whatnot. So this is all done directly through the vSphere client, which you know 500,000 of our customers use every day. So we're really happy to get this all out to the market. We're really happy that the cloud is the, next, the, the way to go in the future, and we think that the VMware te technology, the VMware stack, is the right way to view it in the way that's compatible with your infrastructure, compatible with the way that you already know how to do business, and a way that's secure, reliable, and delivered by VMware, who you trust.